Hello and welcome to the Cycling Triathlete. Today we're taking a quick break from the train road episodes because uh, I've got a bit of a cold and it's a rest day. So I thought I'd do something different and we've got the Madison uh, photochromatic sunglasses. So you get yourself a little carry bag with it, uh, microfiber one so it'll clean it when you take it in and out like you do with most sunglasses. So I think I picked these up for about £35. So for what they are, photochromatic, uh, is pretty reasonable. So they're quite nice quality. Um, the build quality is really nice on them. It's sort of on par with my Oakleys, I would say, uh, with the fit and finishing. It's got a really positive snap. Um, my Oakleys are a bit older. They used to be a bit more positive, but these ones definitely have got stiffer hinges than the other ones. Um, not that that really matters. It just stays open a bit easier. There's quite a lot of flex in the frame itself because it just has this top bar here supporting it and then obviously the lens itself. On the uh, nose piece it's uh, rubberized so it's got a fair bit of grip to it. Um, I would say it's not quite as comfy as an Oakley one. Um, the Oakley ones are almost a bit squidgy. Uh, this is like a, a hard rubber so it's although it's grippy it's a little bit harder. Okay so how do they look when they're on? They're sort of that classic current ski glasses um, sort of look, so with a helmet it looks a lot better. Um, I wouldn't really wear these out and about on the street, they're definitely sport sunglasses. You could probably wear them skiing, cycling, running, um, but yeah, not. I wouldn't really wear them day to day to be honest. Uh, so you can see there's a bit of a tint in there, the sun from the window is coming straight in there. So a surprising thing, um, hopefully the weights are coming up on the screen now. So let's have a look at the uh, specs. So the weights should be coming up on the screen now. So I've weighed these, um, the jaw breakers and the flight jackets. So they actually all have an extremely similar weight, which was quite strange. These guys in the hand feel heavy, um, like I would say 10 or 20 grams heavier especially than my um, flight jackets which feel really light. I'm not sure if it's because the flight jackets look bigger and then they actually weigh the same or what, but uh, it's hard to describe. I think there's more weight maybe here. Um, just the way it's distributed it feels different and you can feel it when it's on your head as well. It could be to do with maybe the nose piece not spreading the weight out quite as much. Um, but yeah, it's it's very strange. They feel heavier. Um, you sort of forget they're there after a while. It's not a bad thing. And as you can see, the weights are pretty much the same anyway. But yeah, just something to note. They definitely uh, feel a bit more substantial, I suppose you could say, but also heavier. So I've worn these a couple of times. Um, they just seem to keep the light level at the right amount. Uh, they're rated category one to three, I believe, which is quite a spread. So you can basically wear them in no light all the way up to bright sunlight. Um, they're UV, UV A or B protected. So all the good stuff. Um, for the price, I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, if they were double the price, I would probably not expect much more to be honest. Quick shot coming up on how they change and respond to a little LED that I've got. Um, so they're not the quickest responding, but if you're wearing these as the sun sets, or as the sun's rising say, then they will change with the light as it changes uh, gradually. However, don't expect as you go into some shade, say, um, under some trees, them to instantly change because it's just not gonna happen. Um, you might get a quicker change time on more expensive stuff, but for what I need, uh, they're fantastic. So another little feature, as you can see, there is a hole just there and on that side as well. Uh, so you can put uh, a little head strap and glasses strap on if you want to. I wouldn't be doing that, but if you want to, it's there. Um, the fit is really secure, as you can see, as with most sunglasses. This is curved, it makes a really nice um, seal with your head. I'm a medium size head, so luckily things fit me quite well. If I had a larger head, I probably wouldn't wear these. Um, although they're the same width as my flight jackets, I would say this curve is much more pronounced, that's going to be. Uh, probably causing you some uncomfortable problems if you wear these for too long, if your head's too big, and then if it's a bit smaller, I think you'll be okay. So yeah, if you've got a really wide head, I would not go for these. 
So in comparison to uh, the Jawbreakers, say, which are a classic sunglasses, um, these guys are a bit bigger, they're a bit wider this way, and they're quite similar in width. Yes, these guys are just bigger in general. Um, they're a lot more similar to a flight jacket, so if the flight jacket fits you well, then these guys will as well, and same with the Jawbreakers really. Um, they're just a bigger one, but the main size is actually going down, so they drop down and they almost um, touch my cheekbone here. Um, so the, the top here is the same as the Oakleys say, um, but the Oakleys would finish here. These guys just drop down a bit more. In terms of windshielding, um, which is, to be honest, for me, one of the main reasons why I wear sunglasses, um, they're very good. I've had some BBB ones, which are high, high speeds, like 30, 40 miles an hour, and the air seems to get underneath or around the, around the top or whatever, and uh, make my eyes tear up, but these guys seem to deflect it quite well. So they do have some ventilation just uh, there, so as you can see, a little hole there, so that should help you from fogging up too much. So yeah, for the price, if you can get these for sort of 35, 40 pounds, then go for it. If they're a little bit more, to be honest, I, could, I would justify it. They're, they're nice sunglasses. Um, if you can get them cheaper, then that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I would say they are definitely in competition with Oakley, say. Um, if I bought some more sunglasses, I can't see why I wouldn't go with maybe some of these in, in you know a tinted version because they are genuinely very nice for the money. So as always, thanks for watching the Cycling Triathlete. I will be getting back to the trainer road stuff very soon, so don't worry if you're waiting for that to come out. And I'll see you in the next video.